Hey, hey, what's up my amazing supporters? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got something super cool lined up. We're adding a parking meter script to the server. This isn't just any script. It's packed with an interactive UI and super smooth functionality. It's perfect for bringing that extra layer of realism to your roleplay experience. And get this, police officers can actually check if a car has paid for parking or not. Yep, it's that detailed. Let's jump right in and see how it works. To kick off the process of integrating this exciting and dynamic update into your 5M server, start by visiting the GitHub page, which we've made easily accessible through the link provided in the video description. Once you're on the page, locate the necessary files and download them to your computer. Quick heads up before we dive any deeper. You'll need to download an additional dependency called Kiti UI for this script to work properly. Without it, the parking meter UI won't function as expected. Don't worry though, it's a simple download and the link is provided in the description below. Just make sure to grab it, install it alongside the script, and you'll be good to go. After downloading, extract the contents from the zip folder to access all the required files. Once the extraction is complete, carefully transfer the entire folder into the appropriate directory within your server's configuration that suits its structure and setup. Finally, make a minor adjustment by renaming the folder. Simply remove the word main from the folder's name and your setup will be ready to move forward seamlessly. Once you've downloaded the Keti UI dependency, it's super easy to set up. Just drag and drop the entire folder into your standalone folder inside your server directory. This ensures everything runs smoothly and the parking meter script works exactly the way it should. No errors, no missing UI, just clean and functional. Now, inside the script folder, you'll find an SQL file. This needs to be imported into your preferred database. In my case, I'm using HeidiSQL, but you can use any tool you're comfortable with, like phpMyAdmin or others. Make sure to import the SQL file into your existing database setup. This step is essential to ensure all the necessary tables and data structures are in place. Skipping this might cause parts of the script to not function properly, so don't miss it. All right, now let's take a quick look at the config file for the parking meter script. You'll find this inside the script folder, and this is where you'll do all your customizations. Right at the top, you can enable or disable debug messages and set your core framework, whether you're using QB Core or ESX. Just below that, you'll choose your inventory system, with support for options like QB Inventory, Codem, Ox underscore Inventory, and more. You can also set the type of money the script uses, cash, bank, or black money. Then you've got options for your target system, whether you prefer aux underscore target or qb underscore target. You can even toggle whether the script uses server time and whether to automatically clean up unused SQL entries. Further down, you can customize your bot name, server name, and the avatar icon if you're using Discord webhooks or notifications. There's also a title setting for the UI. You'll find options to control interaction distance with vehicles, the minimum and maximum parking time allowed, and how much players are charged per minute of parking. Lastly, you can configure which jobs are allowed to check whether a car has a valid parking ticket, like police, ambulance, or mechanic. Or, you can enable it for everyone with a simple true-false switch. This config file gives you full flexibility to make the parking meter system work exactly how you want it for your server. Now, let's take a look at the second part of the config file, which focuses on the robbery settings for the parking meter system. At the top, you'll see the target prop models, which defines the object models used for the parking meters. These are the props players will interact with in-game. Below that, you've got a section dedicated to the robbery feature. If you want players to be able to rob parking meters, just set Use Robbery to True. You can configure how many police need to be online to allow the robbery, whether to use a dispatch system, and even the chance to alert the police during the robbery attempt. You can define the dispatch type, whether it's Emergency Dispatch, PS Dispatch, Codem Dispatch, or any custom system you've added. You can also set the amount of money players receive from a robbery, the item required to perform the robbery, like a lockpick, and whether that item should be removed after use. There's also a setting for how long the robbery takes, the progress bar message, and whether you want to enable a skill check to make it more challenging. And finally, you can define how long a player has to wait before they can rob again. Overall, this part of the config gives you full control over how the robbery system works, 
allowing you to balance it perfectly for your server's economy and roleplay style. After extensive testing and productive discussions, I'm thrilled to announce that Rocketnode and Codeine are now official partners. We recognize the critical importance of providing top-tier hosting services to ensure your players enjoy an exceptional 5M experience. Rocketnode comes with DDoS protection, 24-7 support, and cloud backups. They offer extremely customizable 5M server hosting, allowing you to create your own server with just one click. Their easy-to-use control panel makes it simple to set up and modify your 5M server. If you're tired of searching for a reliable provider for your community, start building with Rocketnode today. Make sure to use the link in the description and get a 25% discount on your server by using the promo code provided below. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to enhance your server with a reliable hosting solution. Alright, now let's take a look at how the parking meter script works in-game. To test the script, a player simply needs to drive up to any parking meter with their own vehicle. Once they interact with it, they'll get an option to buy a parking ticket. From there, this beautiful and clean UI will pop up. In the menu, the player can enter their license plate, choose the parking duration using the slider, and enter the street name. On the right side, there's a live ticket preview showing all the details, plate number, duration, street, and the exact expiry time. Once everything looks good, they can hit purchase ticket, and the amount will be deducted from their bank account. Now here's where it gets interesting for role play. Police officers can walk up to the vehicle and interact with the door. If there's a valid parking ticket, it will show up. But if no ticket is found, officers can go ahead and issue a fine. Super easy to use, incredibly immersive, and adds a great layer of realism to your server. And that's a wrap for today's video, my awesome supporters. I hope you enjoyed this look at the parking meter script and how it can bring a whole new level of realism and roleplay to your server. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you never miss future tutorials and script showcases. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Happy coding, happy roleplaying, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. I'm thrilled to announce that Codeine has officially surpassed 7,000 members on Discord making it one of the best 5M developers and server owners hubs. Fueled by this increase in member count, we've added developer AI bots to help fix code snippets for users facing issues. Moreover, users can also create logos for their servers using our logo-creating AI bots. With support for all frameworks from thousands of developers, you'll also find all the necessary free items needed to start a simple roleplay server. So what's stopping you from joining? Join now!